Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas to all. And welcome to tacosandgeeks.com video game flashback. This is the last video game flashback of 2018, and we are gonna end it with a little holiday chair with the Grinch for the PlayStation 1. And as always, I give you a brief synopsis or overview of the game. So, here we go. In this third-person action-adventure game, which is based in part on the live-action film Dr. Seuss, How the Grinch Stole Christmas, you play the role of the mean one himself. Embark on a quest through 24 missions from Whoville to Underwater World and Dr. Seuss's environments with three mini-games and a bonus level. Players collect and assemble a variety variety of gadgets such as the rotten egg launcher, the slime shooter, bad breath, and the Grinch copter. Players can transform into the Grinch's sidekick Max the Dog to explore areas that are inaccessible to the mean one himself, the Grinch. And honestly, I couldn't think of another game to finish off the year and to finish off the holiday season than the Grinch himself. Like I said, this is loosely based off of the how the Grinch Stole Christmas movie, which starred Jim Carrey, but unfortunately Jim Carrey did not dub for the Grinch. But to say the least, this was, believe it or not, a pretty good adaptation of the Grinch, and just it was a pretty decent game, um, wise for what the game was actually going for. Plenty of cutscenes, and I'm just gonna show you a little bit of the tutorial. I'm not actually gonna show you a couple of missions here. But one thing I did like for the PlayStation 1, it, I felt that it really did a great job of capturing Whoville. And even for its time, they made sure to really capture not only Whoville, but the essence of Dr. Seuss's character, the Grinch, as he plots and schemes on how he can get back at those nasty Whovians that have cast them out and didn't accept them into the society. People who are just always happy while the Grinch is always miserable. So let's go into more of this as we get to start here as we're going to start a little bit of the tutorial here which I think it's pretty pretty cool. So as you can see the Grinch has to learn a little bit of some of the basic controls here and let's see what we're going to be doing here. This is actually one of my first times playing this so bear with me. One of these boxes. The Grinch likes to break things with his Okay, so it seems behind. that we have some boxes He'll that we're gonna have to be able to, to move here. This power is and that's it. So he's gonna the Grinch is gonna use his butt to smash to boxes. That's gonna be a very powerful butt tox, Grinch. Alright, so X to jump and X to do the double X. Press X twice to do the pancake attack, as you see here, as we're gonna be looking for the key. Snail by process of elimination. There is our gold key that we need. It's always a gold key. It's always gold or silver. Or bronze. And here we go. The and another cutscene. This game actually had a pretty uh, lefty, uh, decent amount of cutscenes in the beginning to really get the player to immerse into the game. So I'll press triangle to seize the object and to move it. So let's move this big rock in. I didn't even think the Grinch was this strong, but apparently he is. And we're in. Hey Max. Listen and this to me, is where boy. we're gonna be able to play as his faithful sidekick, Max world. the Dog. Go get it. Max the Brown Dog is the mean one's right-hand mate. He obeys Grinchy orders, does not question his fate. This pup boldly ventures where the green one cannot. All right, he Grinchy. approaches who strangers, explores a small spot. Press select to control Max. So let's switch into Max. And this also did some really cool uh, gameplay elements from Max's perspective. So Max has to try to find a key for the Grinch and he does now he can just go back and give it to the Grinch Thanks, you bad so it, it really didn't make the gameplay stale when you'll be able to use Max and you, you'll be out using Max throughout the game as well alright so we unlocked another door do I 
access the next And this is going to be, I believe, the bad so breath attack. Breath analyzer. An anti-who tool for which no blueprints exist is the smelly Grinch breath, which can And this is surprisingly one of the better Christmas games that I covered for <laughs> video game flashback. Time, it's always allowed. This fog reveals things the naked eye can't see. Also, its rank odor weakens the enemy. Square for bad breath. And there we go. Oh my. <laughs> no doubt. And it identified us <laughs> as the Grinch. The Grinch. <laughs> you can pass. Press the action button to cause Grinchy effects. Okay, now we got to switch. Guarantees you will be a pain in who next. Try and go to grab lever and then down. At the heart of the heartless ones came his pride, a master computer with Grinchy smarts inside. After I collect the plans that have blown away. I'll feed them to my processor, and there they'll stay. <laughs> it will build my gadgets with just a click of its gears. I'm actually pretty amazed still with the graphics here for the PS1. It looks pretty cool. Alright, so we got the binoculars and everything else, and that's items. So guys, I am going to wrap it up here. And this has been a look at the Grinch 4. The PlayStation 1. This is Justin from AtakosTheGeeks.com. I just wanted to say thank you guys for all your support that you have given ONG in 2018. We have many, many, many stuff coming for you guys in the upcoming year in 2019. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share the channel if you like. And most importantly, go to AtakosTheGeeks.com because there's things there that you will not get here on YouTube, such as interviews, written reviews, and all those other good stuff. So, Thank you once again. I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, whatever you celebrate. Peace and goodwill to all and to all. Have a great day. And if you're on the other side of the world, good night. Love you all. Thank you for your support. See you next year. Peace.